What should I do about Judas Iscariot? According to your point of view, is Judas Iscariot guilty or innocent? Hi, I'm Pastor John Niches. Today, I'll talk about Judas Iscariot, perpetrator or victim. There are many questions about Judas Iscariot's betrayal and his prophetic role about Jesus' crucifixion. All of this assault our thoughts as a result of a lot of people apology the Messiah's treasurer, not extending his responsibility in the most famous crime in court history. Many people believe if Judas hadn't appeared into Jesus' epoch, the Lord hadn't been crucified. Well, according then, the traitor apostle on the power and capability to decide about Jesus' destiny. To understand this matter, we just take a look to the Bible about this dilemma. In the book of Psalm, chapter 41, verse 8 through 9. The psalmist prophesied about the Jesus traitor. He testified the evil disease possessed him and took him to commit his worst mistake from his whole life. Though we can assess other prophecies in the Old Testament, as the Bible states in the book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 12 through 13. The prophet Zechariah was very specific about the treason price, and also he spoke about the traitor cast the silver currency onto the temple's border, referring obviously to Judas. The Judas defenders based their apologies in this quote, though we must remember that the prophecy sometimes referred to the past some other time the present, and sometimes the future. Some people believe that this prophecy was a decree, though it isn't at all. Thanks to, if it were like that, it weighed the divine tenet, which calls free will. The Bible explains about our ability to choose between the good and the evil. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 21, verse 8. The Bible keeps testifying about our free will. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 15 through 19. There are a lot of signs about our free will to choose our decisions, no matter what kind of it is. It's true, Judas was incapable of to decide about Jesus' life, as himself confirms in the Gospel of John chapter 10, verse 17 through 18. Definitely, the Lord confirms that he saved his own life by God's commandment. That means uh, the treasure wasn't a key piece in the crucifixion. Nevertheless, this doesn't mean he was not responsible for his sass. Duru, both David and Zechariah revered the future as, without ignoring the Judas' free will. I mean, he could avoid this betrayal. Jesus spoke about this in the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 24. This demonstrates that Judas' betrayer was prophesied. However, this reality doesn't make him awkward. Thanks to, he had the opportunity to refuse to betray it. Our precious Lord. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Please subscribe, leave your comment, and share it to enhance and improve this Christian community.